Hi, it's Hoss here with a quick video to show you the Google Speed Test Tool. This is a tool for testing your website speed and arguably it's the one that we should all be going by because it was developed by Google and you would think that they're going to tell us what it is that Google actually want. One reason for all the tools out there being slightly different and giving slightly different scores is that they're testing the things that they think are important. But of course, if we want to rank in Google, we want to be optimizing our websites for the things that Google thinks are important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of my test website. I'm going to paste it in there so that you can see how it works. I'm going to click on analyze. And yeah, as far as speed testing tools, it's not the sexiest of tools, but as I say, it's a must because it comes from Google. So you can see that in this case, my test website uh, needs work on the mobile front and on the desktop front, I have a score of 82 out of 100 and 75 out of 100. Now, the irony, of course, is that if you're tracking your website with Google Analytics, that analytics code adds to your, your page download speed, not tremendously, but it does. And then the Google fonts, uh, the API that WordPress and a lot of themes come with is a major hog on page speed. So Google don't always practice what they preach. Just keep that in mind. So yeah, you can see underneath these scores, the possible optimizations. And these items are all about JavaScript. You can see the .js. You can also click on the link and that'll take you to a page that explains in Google speak what it is that um, the issue is. Now you can scroll down there and hide details. And of course you do have a heading uh, telling you exactly what it is that is finding an issue with. So minify JavaScript, that's one thing that we could implement very easily. And the other issue is eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS in above the fold content. That's a little bit more complex, but you can use a plugin like auto optimize to fix that. Okay, and on the desktop side, we have optimized images. Yep, I actually threw some big images on the homepage of this test page just to give the page a bit of weight. Those images are not optimized, and that's what this thing is picking up. So just by optimizing those images, I could really nudge up that score from 82 up until the top 80s or early 90s. And the other two issues are the same as the mobile side. Eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS and minify JavaScript. So if you nail those two things, you should see an overall improvement across both mobile and desktop. So that's the Google page speed tool. It's a must if you want to get a good idea of what Google thinks of your page in terms of speed optimization. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.